In this snip, we're going to focus on how to set a default value for a parameter in PowerShell. A default parameter can be set by using the PS default parameters value preference variable. This variable lets you specify default values for any commandlet or advanced function. By default, by default, the PS default parameters value is set to null. We can set a default parameter value by using the following syntax. Try again. We can set a default parameter value by using the following syntax. Provide the commandlet name with a colon, a parameter name equal, and the value you wish to assign the parameter. Here, we're going to assign the count parameter on the test connection commandlet a value of one. Looking at the PS default parameters value, we can verify our setting. Now, if we run the test connection, skip. Now, if we run the test connection commandlet, we can see the count parameter was assigned a value of one without us having to specify it. If we want to update the value, we can run the same syntax from above and just change the value. Looking at the PS default parameters value variable again, we can see our updated value was applied. Now running the test connection, skip. Running the test connection commandlet again without specifying the count parameter, we can see the count value has been changed to two. The PS default parameters value variable is a default parameter dictionary object type. In order to manage entries from the variable, you would use methods that you would use to say, skip all that, try again. Now, the PS default parameters value variable is a default parameter dictionary object type. In order to manage the default values in this variable, you would use the same methods that you would use to manage a standard hash table. Here are three different ways we can add another default parameter to the PS default parameters value variable. Let's run the command using the add method to assign the format parameter on the get date commandlet with a value of R, setting the date to a RFC 1123 pattern by default. We will verify our new addition. It looks good. Now we can run get date and we will see our date is returned in an RFC 1123 pattern without us having to specify it. To remove a default parameter, you can use the remove method and provide the commandlet and parameter name. Here we are removing our default parameter for the test connection commandlet. Looking at our variable again, we can verify that it has been removed. You can also clear or remove all of the parameter values from the variable by running the clear method. Looking at the PS default parameter values variable again, we can see all of the parameter values have been cleared.
You can also set a script block as a default parameter value. Here we will assign the get process to the script block parameter on the invoke command commandlet. Let's verify our variable. And now when we execute invoke command, we can see the command is ran without having to specify the script block on the command line. It is also possible, start over. You can also add multiple values at once using the semicolon as a separator. It is also possible to use wildcards when specifying the commandlet name. In this first example, we would set the verbose to equal to true on any commandlet with a verbose parameter. In our second example, we would set verbose to true on any get verb commandlet with a verbose parameter. Let's run that. Now running the get sim instance commandlet, we can see the verbose messages displayed back to us. If you need to disable all of the parameter values in the PS default parameters value, skip. If you need to disable all of the parameter values in the PS default parameter values variable, you can add the string disabled with a value of true. Here we can verify our variable and we see that disabled was in fact set to true. Running get some instance again, no verbose messages are displayed because our default parameter values have been disabled. If you would like to enable them again, we can remove the disabled string from our variable. And here we can verify our default parameter values have been re-enabled. That covers setting a default value for a parameter in PowerShell. Thank you for watching.